This is Chapter 3, Section 1, Writing Situations for Graphs, Lesson 1, Video 3. Example, write a possible situation for the given graph. Before you do anything, you need to make sure you understand which terms that you would need to use for the different parts of the graph as it changes. So the first thing that we have is the red portion. And the red portion is increasing steadily over time. You can tell that it's steady because it's not wobbly or curved in any way, shape, or form. It's just making a nice, steady increase. The blue part remains constant. for a period of time. And then last is the green. And the green decreases, I would say rapidly, but you know, rapidly or steadily. It's just at a different pace than the red when it comes to the increase or decrease. Once you have an idea of what you're dealing with, then you need to come up with like a situation about, um, you know, what could represent this type of a graph. So an example situation could be, um, so that's water level over time. So we could say Sally fills a bucket with water. She then leaves the bucket for a few days or for a few hours. Later, she decides to pour it out. And you could say, pour out the water steadily until the bucket was empty. So this would be just a, you know, a word situation to explain why the water would rise and stay the same and then decrease over time. And sometimes it's just the phrases that you would need. So Sally fills a bucket with water. Um, you may want to say she fills a bucket slowly with water or steadily with water just to make sure that you get that constant flow um, and then you know if she leaves it sitting obviously the water level is not going to change and then later when she pours it out that would also obviously decrease and again using the word steady steadily would ensure that you have the correct looking graph okay so that would just be an example um, there's a lot of different ways you can write this with regards to water level and time um, but the first thing that you want to make sure you do is to describe what's going on with the graph using some of the terms that we've been using um, already in the earlier lessons. So the you try that you have says write a possible situation for the given graph. And we have students versus pizzas bot. Um, as you can tell, this is discrete, so that should make sure that you um, are careful with your wording. And uh, once you are done with this, write down any notes you have, and we will go over them in class. And that is the end of the final video.